seat your toe out. So we're a little tight, so we'll just open up. Kind of clean up a little edge right there at the toe. Just make it look a little bit more appealing. And then we'll iron out the toe one last time. So this bar shoe I'm making, I'm making it out of 3 8 by 1. So just kind of need to run down this section a little bit. Because it doesn't need to be 1 inch all the way through. So I'm hitting out in front of it. I'm not forging that branch yet. So now, let's set our bar down. So it's bent pretty tight. We're gonna hit in the air gap to pull it out. important to have your branch flat on the anvil when you're packing it in in order for it to be fully effective. Then we'll go to the horn and forge all that out and make it look nice. Flatten it. And then we'll do our scarts. I do mine over the step with a half face blow. We have a step, scarf. We'll just kind of take these points off. Scarf it down so it's easy to weld. Got our scarf. Set it up and scarf it. Go over, take our sharp edge off there. Kind of out there. All right, now we're going to turn our branch. So this is actually going to go on a horse. So building the shoe with that foot in mind versus 
building a table shoe. So you can see it's kind of just a little lumpy bumpy, so it's on the horn squarely. Just maintaining the same radius in which I turned it. But forging square on the horn with my hammer to take out some of those lumpy bumps. See my center dot's over there a little bit so it can actually come in, tuck more. There we go. And that'll be nice when I go to turn that branch around. Let's iron it out. Do the next branch. So now we're going to turn our other branch. So my scarfing is on that side, is kicking that branch down there. So when I get to the point of bringing this around, I'm not fighting it. Another. This one here's up a little bit, so just need to be pushed down. So I'm kind of cleaned up my section, my branch, my transitions. Out. Now they just need to be put together a little more. So now my scarves are pretty close to lining up. Now I just need to be flat. Just run down this branch. Flip it over. Run down this branch. Put a little heat on them and then we'll kind of clean up these little tits before we weld it just got a little heat clean up bring it to the opposite side we'll just give it one brush before putting them together clean before we put flux on there and actually go to start welding. Just kind of tap it. Our scarf there. Tap this scarf here. Now they're hurt near touching. Now we get get our flux. I haven't seen it as much Iron Mountain. And just flux those areas there. To where we're going to be welded. So we're getting ready to weld our bar shoe with Coke Forge. And our heat source comes from the bottom, which is air. So you'll have one branch that heats up faster than the other, which will be on the one on the bottom. So while it's coming up to heat, you want to make sure that you flip it so that they become the same temperature. There's our flip. Drop our air. Just let them settle for a sec. Bring it out. Set the weld and then hit your scarf. Flat, hit the weld. And then going for our scarf. And I'm pulling with the edge of my hammer. Clean those seams up. And we'll go to the horn. Got it pretty well set. Seams are blended. 
Brush it before we flex it again. I just couldn't get over the fact there was no common sense whatsoever. Like, they would allow me to get the biggest dirt quad in the history of dirt, but a rock was not allowed. Like, it and same thing when we still welding, you want to flip it so both sides get to the same temperature. So our bar shoe isn't going to weld if two different branches are different temperatures, so they have to be the same temperature in order to weld. Just come out. Mash our material down in the center there. Kind of clean up our seam. We'll kind of get rid of the blob. And then hitting over here on this corner, that's actually welding the titty. You're pushing against it. So it's welding this little area here. So we'll just iron it out and we'll go to the pull. My center dot's not too far off, but it's not on enough to use a set of calipers. So we're gonna T-square it, lining our T-square up at the edge of the anvil. our branch start with four As the shoe starts cooling down, you can hit your fuller a little bit harder to sink it in there. When it's red hot, it's just gonna blow it out. We're gonna have a lot of fixing to do, cleaning that up. Now we'll just clean up our section from the blowout from our fuller and punch. So now I'm just forging square on the horn with my hammer and the shoe. Just 
try and get rid of that little bump there. So start here, still forward and square, maintaining the same radius I had of my shoe already. So I don't distort it and change the shape. And we'll go through, clean up our full learn again. Punch. Virtual. and iron it out. All right, last prints. Start by hemming. First pass, just marking it. And as it's cooling down, start hitting a little harder, sink it in there. Get a lot less blowout. Punch. Okay, we're a little far down there. Just come on. Clean up our section here. Go through the same radius, still hitting square on the horn with your hammer. Got a little bump right there. Just gonna lean it over ever so slightly. Get rid of it. We'll iron it out. Pull it real quick. Pull her through. Now punch one last time and perch it. Punch.
iron it out. Last heat, give it one last brush in. Gonna give it a steam stamp, because why not? And we'll make sure we're flat. pressure Clean up our nail hole there. Back punch. One last brushing. Make it pretty.